Okay, let's uh, take a look at the developing module. So first of all, uh, make sure that you click on develop. So if you are in the library, you just click on the horses, please, and click on develop right there. And uh, first thing I want to talk about is the two viewing modes in develop. Down here on the left hand side, I'd like you to click on the loop view or loop A, which is, you get that from the letter D, and then there's these, uh, this button right here which cycles between before and after views. So I'd like you to click on that. So with this one we can zoom in on each. You can see how things looked and when you make some changes, let's say we turn the after one black and white, bump up the exposure so you can see the difference. This allows you to see whether or not what you've done is, has made the photo better or worse. Now if you go over here to the left hand side and you click on this little triangle right here, it's going to get rid of these panels. See, like that. You can do the same thing with the top panel. I'd like everybody to do that please. I'd like you to click over here on the right hand side, get rid of that, and the one on the bottom, get rid of that. There. So now we have the entire picture without any of the buttons or anything like that. Now, of course, you're going to want those buttons back. Maybe you want to make some adjustments. You can do one of two things. If you hover your mouse over here, it comes back right away. You can make your adjustment, and then when you leave, it disappears. Or you can open it up and keep it like that. And bring it back. And bring it back. There it is. Now what I'd like you to do is we're going to uh, we're going to go and we're going to zoom in. So zoom in on the horse's eye, right there. I'd like you to zoom in on the horse's eye. You notice over here in the navigator, we've got the box set up. If you want to zoom over to the other horse's nose, you just pull that over here. What if we want to zoom in more? Well, you can change the amount of zoom here and you can really change and go in take a look at individual pixels that might be a bit close for you so just click on fit and we're back next I want to show you how we can use the navigator up here just to uh, review the things that we've done to the picture you'll notice if you scroll down see how the navigator changes so if you scroll down here it shows you each one of the things that I did to the photo throughout the history of the photo. This can be pretty handy when you're looking to say, oh hey, well, when well, when did I make the actual crop? Oh, there it is. It's easy as you just slide on through. One of the things I'd like to show you in the develop module is the presets over here. So if we wanted to, uh, for instance, add in, well, I've got a user preset here called Color Punch. When I click on it, or if you want to maybe use some of the filters or if we have a, a Lightroom color preset we can make it look like an aged photo things like that these are all presets you can obviously create your own presets and you can use different Lightroom presets you'll notice that the navigator even shows you what your picture is going to look like as you scroll through it You can even go online and download presets that other Lightroom users have uh, have posted online. So it's a never-ending uh, uh, group of uh, settings you can use for your photos. Okay, something else that you can do too. I'm just going to close the presets here. So you can create a snapshot. So let's say, for instance, that you decide, you know what, I want to try a bunch of different things with this and. Uh, so what you can do is say, okay, before I do that, I'm going to say, try number one. So here yeah, I've got snapshot of try number one, and I'm going to crop this really drastically. I'm going to crop out that, and uh, you know, I think I might actually like to um, 
bring up the saturation maybe a little bit and uh, if we work on the tone curve how about we play around with the tone bring it up just a little bit and I'm going to also add uh, not lens correction instead I might go under effects here we go I'm going to add a vignette can go about your 1980s and go kind of like that like a wedding photo add a little bit of vignette around it awesome okay yeah I hate it it's dreadful so I'm going to just click on try number one and bang I'm back to the original it's kind of a handy little thing that allows you just to save where you were in the picture so if you uh, you want to get back to it you can just click on it right away It'll take you back there The main way that I actually use a snapshot is I really like to be able to go back and forth between the steps that I took and see which one I like best. There we go. Now, I'd like everyone to take a look over here on the left hand side. We'll take a look at the develop module settings. And you've got a whole bunch of sliders and uh, we've got some main tools across uh, uh, across the top that you'd be using all the time. We've got crop, spot removal, red eye reduction, uh, red eye correction, a graduated filter, radial filter, and the adjustment brush tools. So those are all different tools that you can get. And when you click on them, up comes their uh, all of their settings down here like that. That's right. You'll Now you'll notice that basic is underneath. So now for each one of these tools after you're done you have to remember to park your tool. So the way you can do that is you can click on done here or you can actually just hit the enter key and that parks the tool and you are you now have basic up on the top. A lot of people make that mistake because it can create a uh, uh, it, it can create some problems. You're you're using your keys and saying why isn't this working? It's because you're still in one of the tools. Now under basic, you'll notice if you go, you can go right to black and white immediately, or you can go to color. Okay. Although that's not really the way that I like to do black and white, but you can make adjustments to exposure, contrast, highlights. So if we make adjustments to exposure, if you want to put it back you can actually just click on or double click on the word exposure and bang it goes right back to zero that's very handy so if you want to close that section you can now take a look at all the different ones right here this is where I do black and white right here click on that if I undo that and in actual fact what I'm going to do I want everybody to hit reset, please. Reset on the horses. Okay. And what I'd like is if you take blue and you adjust the blue and you pull the blue out of that, you'll notice that it actually change it, it can change things quite a bit. Same thing with the orange. You notice the orange. But what I also want you to notice is that if you go into black and white, let's double click on each of these to reset the, the sliders, double click on that, now go into black and white, and you can still take the parts that are orange and adjust them, and the parts that are blue and adjust those. That can be very handy. And now after all is said and done, if you just hate everything that's been done to the photo, you can always just click reset. And it goes back to, uh, to the original settings.